Catherine Gahu from SBO Research, where we provide business and social research services. In this video, I will talk about practices that we can learn from successful people that we can use for our growth in 2021. In my business, many clients give us contracts to research what other companies are doing better in certain areas or how they are solving a common problem that is giving them competitive advantage in the marketplace and the like. My clients do this so that they can learn the best practices from others who are doing better or who have found an answer to a common problem in their industry. And when they find the answer, the first thing they do, and that's really where the one of the reasons is, is that they test it to see if it's a proper fit for themselves and if it passes the test, they apply it. Even governments do this. They go out there to learn what other countries are doing better, whether it's about managing the economy, social services, tourism promotion, or crime and investigation. People always look to learn from others in similar areas. In the business world, we call this benchmarking for best practices. And it works. And if it works for them, why can't it work for us as individuals? In this video, I want to borrow this principle of benchmarking to bring out positive practices that successful people follow habitually on their journey to success. Not what they do occasionally, no, what they do habitually, consistently, repeatedly, as a habit that can be tied to their achievement. Another thing to borrow from benchmarking is that when you learn the habits of successful people, you will need to test them before you apply them. This is very important and it's personal because it depends on your own values, your own life mission, and the like. And what fits one person may not fit another. Your friends or colleagues may find it easy to apply, but you find that for you, it's a struggle. Why? Maybe because it's not really appropriate or suitable for you. And that's one of the big reasons why we have a challenge when we go, we read all these success habit books, we read all these books, and then you find you've read so many books, but you're not seeing progress. There are many other reasons for that, but one is that you are trying maybe to apply things that you have not tested to see the fit with your own value system and the like. Sometimes we fall because we try to adopt some of these success habits or practices, but we find that we cannot sustain. We cannot sustain because they are out of alignment with our value system, with our mission in life. So we need to assess to ensure that the habits and the practices that we select are aligned with our personal values and life mission. So you need to assess to ensure that the habits and practices that I discuss in this video are aligned with your personal values and your life mission. And only select what works for you. We are all different and therefore there cannot be a single route to success for all of us. Indeed, you have to find your own path after considering all the proposals that are well present. Fifth, they practice adaptability. Successful people are open to change and are ready to change course when things change. When things take a new course, as they usually do, they are not scattered. They find another way to get where they want to go. They innovate to remain on course. They shift to plan B or plan C or even plan D. They keep moving and changing as is required by the circumstances. 2020 was a year when we truly learned about the power of adaptability. We realized that there can be no sustainable success without being adaptable. Successful people are willing and ready to make the changes necessary when things change. To quote Max Marquion, all failure is failure to adapt. All success is successful adaptation. We learned this better through the experiences of 2020. Those who could not adapt, those who could not change with the change, change had to change them. Sixth, successful people 
practice self-management. This means that they develop their ability to keep themselves in check, under control. They manage themselves effectively. They develop self-discipline. And this means that they are able to make themselves do what they need to do, even if it's hard, even if they are more interesting pursuits calling for their attention. They are able to say no to distractions and to things that will hinder the achievement of their desired goals. There are many examples of people who, while on their way to great success, were failed by a single bullet, the bullet of lack of self-management. So this is an important practice that we could learn and pick to develop for 2021. The seventh is the practice of results orientation. Successful people monitor their results consistently. They appreciate the saying that what gets measured gets done. They persistently measure the results that they are getting and they use the results to check if they are moving in the right direction. If they find that they are not getting the results they want, they change course, they change their strategies and tactics and they adopt new methods and they keep tracking the results and keep making the changes necessary and tracking and changing until they achieve what they desire. This is in line with what Stephen Covey said that one thing is for sure, if we keep doing what we are doing, we will keep getting what we are getting. How amazing. If we adopt these seven practices in 2021, we will be on our way to achieving great success. And of course, as I said earlier, you have to look at each of the practices and see how well it fits you or what you need to change about it so that it can fit your own value system and your life mission. These are my seven winning practices of successful people that we can plan to take up in 2021. If you take up just two or three of these practices and you follow them consistently, you will definitely see great results by the end of 2021 and exponential growth in the following years. As we said earlier, it's a long-term process and that we underestimate what we can achieve in 10 years. To sum it up, my seven winning practices of successful people to take up in 2021 are first, long-term orientation. Second, start with what you have. Third, practice persistence. Fourth, the habit of excellence. Fifth, self-management. Sixth, adaptability. And seventh, resort orientation. Before I close, I have a question for you. Which one of these practices will you commit to take up in 2021? Remember to subscribe and keep watching. We all need to elevate our mindsets at this time. Thank you and best wishes for the new year. Happy holidays.